every now and then we need to hear some voice of truth some voice of reason as to where we are on this planet as humanity we do it's time to get out of your feelings our feelings it's time to come out of the matrix and see how things really really are and how we've been fooled as one person said many years ago in the 60s how we've been bamboozled made to believe someone else's narrative when it's not the truth the actual truth what I'm getting at is this men especially in America would prefer that includes women would prefer entertainment over real life we as humanity like to be lied to because the truth exposes everything for what it really is and what I'm getting at really is this have you paid attention to what's going on in the world today it's a plethora of things going on all at the same time and if you're not paying attention to the world I'm not talking about your backyard I'm not talking about your respective communities only or your little town your city I'm talking about the world because it all works together everything affects us directly or indirectly ladies and gentlemen whether you want to accept it or not our world is falling apart it is there's chaos on every hand there are some things that I don't have on this little list here because of what's going on in, on the planet today exceeds what I have here but I just want to touch on this just to get your attention for a moment just in case you haven't been paying attention we all know let me mention this first and foremost that former President Donald Trump has been attacked 24 7 since he's been out of office they began to attack him when he was in office they the powers that be because he won't play ball he won't pay attention to all of the tenets of the puppet master so to speak the powers that exist and they attack him vehemently and have been doing it relentlessly it's a witch hunt as he said and I said that before he even said it before I heard that he said it it's a witch hunt never ever in the history of America has one man who was the president former president or sitting president been attacked the way this man has been attacked why there's an agenda and I believe that most Americans are seeing that there is an agenda it's all political they don't want him to be back in office could it be because he's going to expose the so-called deep state as he mentioned before all of the dark things that have been going on in our country that the American people and our citizens have not been privy to that affect all of us especially in a negative way could it be that he would set things in order or at least attempt to set things in order the way that they should be and they the powers that be over him and beyond him don't want things to be in order true story 
90 something charges, felony charges. Could you believe that that is true? And then the civil case concerning his properties and his business practice, which the judge gave him a favorable response on today. Strange, but it happened. But here, this is what's going on today. The Russian-Ukraine war, as of right now, as I'm speaking, did you know that over 30,000 Russians have been killed? And did you know almost a half a million Ukrainians have been killed? That's almost half a million. 400,000 Ukrainians have been killed. And they're still dying every day. Does God like that? Does the Creator like that? More specifically, the Creator. Now, there's an impeachment query into Joe, President Joe Biden and his son, Hunter Biden, that they're trying to keep hush-hush. That's going on as well. While they try to expedite Trump's impeachment and or criminalization, if you will. That's two things. We're about to have a resurgence of the mask mandates as a result of the new variant. That's another thing. Not to mention the China and Taiwan unrest, potential war or attack may be looming in the future. And what about the most recent war between Israel and Hamas, where over a thousand people have been killed already within the past two to three days. Wow. And then don't forget the potential government shutdown. They only gave us an additional 45 days for the government to make a decision, right? Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, was fired. And then we had an earthquake in Afghanistan not too long ago that took the lives of 2,445 people plus. 2,445. That's a lot of lives lost. And let's not forget the Moroccan earthquake about four weeks ago where over 2,000 Moroccans died. That's two earthquakes, right? And then the flood in Libya, where over 5,300 people died about three weeks ago after two dams broke. This is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Are you praying now? Have you started praying? Have you been praying? Ladies and gentlemen, our world is in a state of chaos. And all of the, it's going to be okay and we have an answer and resolution from man and government, it's not going to fix it. We're getting to the point where at some point it's going to take a divine intervention to correct what man is doing on our planet and has done on our planet. The wars and the rumors of wars, book of Revelation chapter 24, it's in there. If you don't have a Bible and you just have maybe an unction to read a Bible, read Matthew chapter 24 where it talks about the tribulation. We actually are in it right now, just in case you didn't know that. So now, how much do you trust our government to maintain 
this country? What about the poverty that we see every single day? But we're giving what about $180 billion in aid to the Ukraines or Ukrainian people? Now, I'm as empathetic as the next person. I believe in that. But don't forget home. We're supposed to have so much national debt. Where do we get the money from to send equipment and funds there? And we can't take care of our veterans here and our homeless here, our indigent here. Oh, I just took a break for a second just to tell you what was on my mind and to say this. We need to start praying, not just praying, but preparing for hard times in America because we're at that point. Everything is falling down around us times are not going to get better ladies and gentlemen you can hope and wish and pray that they do but it's not so what i'm asking you to pray for today those that are listening to my voice right now pray that the creator the almighty yahweh allah sees us through these hard times that's what we should be praying for because it's going to happen regardless and there's nothing that we can do about it we're going through it now and it's going to get worse it is now if you never heard it anywhere else you heard it from brother teacher you need to start stocking up on non-perishable food on toiletries, extra clothing, blankets, lighters, flashlights, fluid, whatever you can, because it's going to get hard. Unlike you, even our so-called middle class have ever, ever experienced here in America and even across the planet. I'm serious as serious can get. And we're going to need one another as neighbors, irrespective of color and religion. We're going to need one another, ladies and gentlemen. Black, white, yellow, red, it doesn't matter. We're going to need one another and we need to unite because things are going to get hard. And I mean what I'm saying to you. So... Start stocking up, start storing today as I'm speaking to you. Don't forget water. You need water. Get you some flashlights and some batteries for light. If you want a list of things, I've done videos like this over the past couple years. You can go back and search my videos and find those videos. But if you want a list of things that you should have during hard times please inquire and i'll let you know what those things are it should be common sense but don't be caught unaware don't be caught by surprise don't try to make a run on the grocery stores and the shopping centers when it's too late when all or most of the things that you need are gone i'm serious and if you never saw me serious I am serious as serious can be right now. The stuff is about to hit the fan. And with this stuff that's going on with our former President Trump, the politics, all of that, our economy, everything is breaking right now. This is not a doom and gloom speech. This is not something that should cause you to panic. Just Take a deep breath and accept that it is what it is and move on from there and take care of yourselves. May Yahweh bless 
all of us. And may Yahweh protect our country and our planet as we go through these hard times ahead. You enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, or wherever you may be. This is Brother Teacher. Much love.